Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video I just want to share some of the quick thoughts that I have about the OnePlus 2. And now OnePlus team has revealed some of the specifications and what we are going to get uh, on the OnePlus 2. Uh, it will be formally announced on 27th July. But before that I just wanted to give out some thoughts. Uh, we know for the fact that uh, now it will come with the Snapdragon 810 chipset. And I'm a little bit, uh, I would say, I'm happy that it, uh, it's uh, they are putting a very powerful uh, chipset that's a Snapdragon 810. And they said that this is a revision too. But again, I'm a little bit worried about the heating issues, particularly in India, uh, the ambient temperatures are pretty high. So I'm curious to see if uh, OnePlus team could have solved the, some of the heating issues that we have seen with the Snapdragon 810 chipset. Uh, we also know that it'll have four gigs of RAM. So it's going to be a beast in terms of multitasking. You don't have to worry about that. And uh, I'm also excited about the fact that uh, uh, we will have the USB uh, C type connector. And I feel this is the future. So I'm glad to see that OnePlus is moving from the mic, uh, what do you say, uh, micro USB to the USB C type connector. Also, it has been confirmed that uh, the OnePlus 2 will have a fingerprint uh, scanner and I feel that's a welcome move. But I just hope that the fingerprint scanner is uh, uh, similar to one we find on the Galaxy S6 where we don't have to swipe. We just put our finger and it unlocks because the swiping ones do not work that well. So I just hope uh, it's something like that. Also, uh, regarding the battery, uh, OnePlus has said that it will have a 3300 milliamp hour battery, which is a slight boost uh, when we compare it with the OnePlus One. And uh, I'm happy, but I feel that the bump in the battery, thereby we might be getting a quad HD screen. And uh, I would say, yes, quad HD screens are great, but there are sort of a battery. Drain. What I really love on the a one plus one is the amazing battery life that we get and i hope uh, that one plus two also continues that trend also some of the things that i hope might be there on the one plus two uh, the one plus team hasn't mentioned about this but i i'm just keeping my fingers crossed i would like to see these features i would uh, uh, hope that they have a ir blaster using which we can control devices like television air conditioners etc it's actually pretty helpful i would say also i hope they include wireless charging out of the box and uh, again it's going to have an invite system so uh, i don't know how easy it would be to purchase it we also know for the fact that the one plus two will be priced a little bit more compared to the one plus one uh, a OnePlus team has just said that it will be less than $450. So definitely it would be a little bit more compared to the OnePlus One. And uh, I would say it, it would be an anywhere, I would say around $400 to $450. Uh, it might be that they might have two versions again, one with lower internal storage and one with a higher internal storage. So I am expecting a price of around $400 to $450. What do you guys think about it? Also, uh, again, this uh, OnePlus 2 is going to come out, but I still feel that this uh, OnePlus 1 is still a very good device and currently it's available for a very good price. And I am just hoping that once the OnePlus 2 comes out, uh, they might drop the price of the OnePlus 1 a little bit more. Hence, uh, it will become even, uh, what do you say, a lot better deal. And uh, I just flashed the CM12 on this OnePlus today. And uh, I plan to use it for the next couple of weeks as my primary driver. So if you guys would like that I do a sort of a re-review of the OnePlus One, do let me know in the comment section. Something like that, what I did for the Mi 4, a sort of a re-review. So if you guys would like something like that, do let me know in the comment section. I'll be happy to do that. And again, uh, if you have any other thoughts about the OnePlus 2 and what do you feel about the OnePlus 2, do share your thoughts in the YouTube comment section. So that's it for now for this video. Thank you for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.